two one similar and congruent triangles. This topic is actually probably a grade nine topic at some point, and you might have gotten through it. I have done actually some videos related to it. Now, here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just try to kind of review and distinguish between similar and congruent triangles. And these videos are gonna slowly lead into basically learning and starting to learn about trigonometry. So a little bit about sines, cosines, and so on. Now for similar and congruent triangles, okay, so what's really the difference? Um, so first I'll kind of talk about congruent. If you take a triangle, and I'm gonna just draw a random triangle here, I'm gonna duplicate it for myself. All right, so I'll shift it over on the other side. So it's exactly the same. So these two triangles are identical. And when you find that you have two triangles, now sometimes, you know, they might be rotated. So this one, you know, we can rotate differently, you know, let's say like this. So when two are I, it does maybe not look exactly the same. Um, but when they're identical to each other, we call them congruent. And, you know, so we put basically an equal sign here because these are the same thing. And what happens is that if you wanted to go from this triangle to this triangle, so, you know, if you wanted to scale it and you were scaling this triangle to the other, then basically the scale um, and the proportionality would have been just one right? Because you're just kind of going from one to the other. So, you know, the scale here is we would have been, okay, having a scale of one. So you haven't really changed anything. Maybe you've rotated it, but it hasn't really changed. And what does that mean? Well, if they're the same, then all the sides are going to be the same, you know, and all the angles are going to be the same. Now, which angle is going to be similar to the other angles? Um, might be hard if one triangle is rotated, but that's what really just kind of congruency means. So congruency means that everything aligns. So all your sides are the same and then so are all your um, angles. Now, what is similar triangles? So how does that differ? Well, so it's actually not that much different. And if I would take my triangle here, so I'm going to take the same one. So let's say I will take this triangle, I'll duplicate it, I'll put it here at the bottom. So I'm going to go down here. And now, if I take this triangle, and now all of a sudden, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start kind of scaling it. All right, so I'm going to start making it bigger, for instance, like this, or I can make it smaller. All right, so I can just keep pulling it down further, all right? So whatever it is that I'm gonna do, so make it bigger or smaller. Now, if you're only making triangles smaller or bigger, but you are not really changing anything else, so it's either smaller or, or it is getting bigger, so you're changing the scale of it, right? So our scale might change, so maybe, I don't know, maybe this one is a half, right? So as we went from here to here, so basically, you know, this one is, half or if you made it bigger maybe it's twice as big or three times as big so you have really just proportionality so they're just proportional to each other right in some particular way so we can say you know these two are proportional to each other and that means that you know the sides are going to be proportional in some way now if the scale is a half you know so that would mean that one of the sides for instance and so if I'm going to label all of these sides, let's call this triangle A, B, C, and then this one D, E, F. So I have these two triangles. So if my scale is a half, and then basically what I'm saying is that, you know, let's say A, B, so the length of A, B is basically going to be, all right, so if I make this one, and if I take D, E, all right, so how do these two compare? Well, it turns out that if you want to go from here to here, you know, you're going to use your scale. So let's say if it was a half. Um, so DE is basically half of AB. Um, now, another way of writing this, which is what you're going to start seeing, is that, you know, if you take AB and then you 
for instance, put it over DE. Okay, so in here, so those two, um, so they're going to be equal in some particular way when you divide it. Well, AB is twice as big, okay, so this would have been 2. Now, if you write it in the opposite way, so if you say DE over AB, you know, then this would have been just 1 half because AB is twice as big as DE, so when you divide it. So that is your proportionality. Now, when this happens, when the triangles are not the same, then we call these similar triangles. Um, so similar triangles, basically what they mean is um, they're just a scaling of each other in some way. So either getting bigger or smaller, so they're just proportional to each other in some way. Now, what that's going to tell you is that all the angles must be the same. So all the angles are the same. But clearly the sides, because you're scaling them either up or down, the sides are not going to be the same, but they're going to be proportional to each other in some way. And you're going to have these things happening. Um, and that is going to be true for you know all of the sides. So for instance, if I would take this entire thing, so I'm going to remove this whole thing right here, just so that we can see that thing. So if I would want to be able to compare, so if I have AB, okay, so this is this is this side is basically similar to this side. So this is going to be DE, and that's going to be equal to, well, in this case, it's going to be equal to two, just the way that I wrote it. Um, but it's also going to mean that BC, okay, and if I so if I would take BC from that triangle, and then I would divide it by EF, because of the scaling, so since the scaling is the same, all the sides are going to scale the same. So that means these things are proportional to each other. And then, of course, it also means that if you have AC right there, it's D and F. Okay, so all of these are going to be the same. And the way that I wrote it, well, assuming that I have, you know, this, okay, that my second one is basically half. So this would have been two. Now, if I would take the reciprocal of each, so if I instead wrote it out as DE over AB and so on, then all of these would just simply be equal to a half. Now, these are useful things to know, these proportionality for similar triangles, because you can then use them to find out um, certain lengths, and then later on you're going to be able to find out different other things. So when you have triangles, and you want to be able to tell somebody that they're proportional to each other um, or they're similar triangles. So we typically write something like this, that the triangle ABC is similar. So the sign right here just means similar to the triangle DEF. Now, those triangles also might be kind of twisted upside down. So to our naked eye, it's actually very difficult to try to see, but we can tell from certain things you know, when triangles are similar to each other. Now, this proportionality okay, for similar triangles is super useful to know. And, you know, a lot of people use it later on. And I'll do some applications in a video for that as well. All right. So, and that's going to be it, at least for this video that I wanted to talk about with regards to kind of similar and congruent triangles. So again, congruent means that they're basically identical to each other. And similar um, is that the angles are the same, but basically the triangles have just been scaled either up or down, and then they have a scaling factor of whatever it might be. So they're proportional to each other, which means all the different sides are going to be proportional to each other. And, you know, so you're going to be able to kind of have this idea, okay, between all the different sides for similar triangles. Um, so that's all for this video, and I hope that you get a chance to watch the next ones in this series, which is going to be on some applications on similar triangles, okay? We'll see you then. Bye, everybody.